Law enforcement's reaction to how they've dealt with protesters this week has come under scrutiny, and that includes the use of less lethal weapons like rubber bullets and tear gas. We have David Schumann live in Brooklyn Center with the science that some University of Minnesota med students are using to call for this weapons ban. David. These students today said just like science has informed decisions about the pandemic, the same should be done with these police crowd control tactics. This, they studied last summer's protests and injuries that happened then, and their findings were published in the prestigious New England Journal of Medicine. Dozens of people needed to go to the emergency room or receive other hospital care. The students found rubber bullets can cause skull fractures, eye and brain injuries. Tear gas can cause breathing problems and burn the skin and eyes. Not everyone affected was out protesting either. The guidelines say that these weapons should not be aimed at the head, yet in our study, 40% of all of the projectiles were hit to the head, face, and neck, 40%. Something we especially want to highlight, these weapons, they're inherently inaccurate. Many in our studies were bystanders. Brooklyn Center has banned its police from using less lethal weapons, and the Hennepin County Sheriff's Office says it decides on a case-by-case -case basis to ensure the safety of protesters and police. All right, thanks for that update, David.